Hey guys, and welcome to another Daily Tip episode here. It is January 20th, 2009, and we are back inside of Reaper, as you can see. Um, I actually got a request on my last video to um, do a little bit of, or show how Easy Drummer works inside of Reaper. So that's what I'm going to do here. Um, uh, after you actually install um, Easy Drummer, um, it'll put it in the uh, VST plugins folder automatically, so you don't have to worry about moving anything around. Um, instead of actually going to right-click Insert Track, you'll go right down here to Insert Virtual Instrument on New Track. You click that and it'll pop up all your virtual instrument tracks. And up here it says DFH Sampler Tune Track 16 Out. Double-click that and it'll come up and say you want to create all these new tracks and hit OK. And down here is actually your memory loading up here. Um, while that's loading, I should tell you, or warn you actually, that if you are... Uh, I actually have two versions of Reaper on my computer. I have the 64-bit version and the 32-bit version. And you can't. I haven't actually been able to get Easy Drummer to work with the 64-bit version of Reaper yet. Um, I've tried manually installing it, and it still it hasn't um, come out right yet. Um, if I get it to work, obviously I'll do it in another tutorial, or show you in another tutorial, but so far it hasn't come out very well. Um, so that's loaded up there now, and you can uh, click through when you want to. Uh, you can sample each drum. Um, and if you want to uh, go to uh, actually get a beat, we can go to Open Grooves. We can go to this Pop Rock thing. We'll go to Pop Rock. Groove one, and we'll do uh, just the simple first one here. And once you have that selected, come down here to a one hats fourth hard closed is what it's actually called, and drag all the way up to your top track here, and it actually puts it inside of your software. And if you drag this out, as you can see, it actually loops it over and over and over again. So if you uh, go ahead and play this, you can actually hear uh, what Easy Drummer sounds like in here. So yeah, that is uh, the really simple setup of Easy Drummer inside of uh, Reaper here. Um, if you want to um, actually... Uh, uh, use this as a multi out you can open up the sampler again go to open mixer right here and click on where it says track one on any one of the tracks come down here and it says multi channel and now it's on seven different tracks here so we can go ahead and close out of this and if you watch down here where the mixing station is and I hit play again you'll see that all the all the tracks will actually um, work at, in their respective microphone positions So yeah, that is the uh, the simple basics of uh, using um, Easy Drummer inside of Reaper. Obviously, I'll be doing some more tutorials on using Easy Drummer um, while uh, and implementing it into a recorded song and stuff like that. So that is the daily tip for Tuesday, January twentieth, two thousand nine, and stay tuned for more tips.